Ah, today's gonna be a good day. Surely nothing bad will happen today, right? Right? Um, come again? Wait. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 I wanna live. I wanna live. Finally, I made it. Oh, I'm safe. Oh, oh no! Greetings everyone, my name is Mischievous, and today you are going to meet the King Slime, the king of all slimes. This boss is a pre-hard mode boss, and it is the first optional boss in the game. Though you may not need to kill it, but it could spawn in your world by either an event called the Slime Rain, or you could also spawn it by using the summon the slime crown so with that out of the way let's talk about the details of this boss so the king slime has three different values of health and damage that it can be done to the player in classic it has 2000 hp and can do 40 damage to the player in expert mode it has 2800 hp with doing 64 damage to the player and in master with a whopping 3570 hp and can do 96 damage to the player overall no matter what difficulty this boss will have a 10 defense and will have a hundred percent knockback resist Upon defeating the Slime King, you'll be awarded with your loot. Depending on your difficulty, you'll be given more loot for a higher difficulty and lesser loot in classic mode. But regardless, you'll be given some sort of loot at the end of the boss fight. And on a side note, the higher the difficulty, the more exclusive the loot in all bosses played in Terraria. So now, how do, exactly do we go about defeating the King Slime? The first way requires little prep and is basically jumping over the boss and running left to right and just using whatever means that you have, a bow, a musket, a mini shark if you got it, or any kind of projectile based weaponry, or even the Star Fury, which is found in the sky. Uh, all of these weapons will be linked. There's a little, little guide, but yeah, the first way is just jumping over him and running to the left or to the right over the terrain. The other way is basically setting up a boss arena supported by buffs that will help the player, like as campfires, heart lanterns, and even the statue. I can't remember the name, but you use these as well as a platform system to maneuver around the boss with little to no effort. But though be wary, because this will take a different type of skill to maneuver around than the traditional running left and right, because you do have enemies above and below you. But yeah, with these methods, you're, you'll be able to defeat the Slime King. I do also want to mention that after every three jumps, one ginormous jump will be made by the boss. And if the boss cannot reach the player, it will automatically teleport onto the player dealing damage. So be careful and not straying too far from the boss. There really isn't much to it. Now, I do need to mention that you will need an armor above gold and preferably the higher defense that you got on the bottom right, as you will see, the better off that you'll be able to survive. Like I mentioned before, the harder the difficulty, the harder the boss will get. But also you should remember, the higher the difficulty, the more greater loot you will get. And there you have it. That is the King Slime. The King of all slimes. And you have defeated him, hopefully. And with that, I'll see you guys later until the next one. Take care, and sayonara.